assalamu alaikum everyone today we are going to discuss on argus 165 copper box test so this is a argus 165 model you can see this is a copper box over here at the back side it is actually a separate device connected through a USB cable over here there is a Wi-Fi connectivity also you can share the results in uh, with your tablet or any mobile devices with the Android or anything with the IP address given to Argus there is a power for charging this device and the USB B cable for PC connectivity and the headphones you can connect so this USB cable it is for the copper box device which is connected at the back side of this Argus you can see so this is the tip ring and the ground and this is optional so you can connect all these cables over here and this is the other end of this Argus this is for the LAN port and these two are for SFPs for fiber connectivity and this is a LAN 2 and this is the line where you can test the circuits special circuits and the least lines and everything and this for BRI, PRI and E1 type of circuits. These are the cables which you are going to connect to test the copper box. This is the tip and ring. And these two ends are going to go to the back side of your copper box here. This way. is for the ground with all these you can test all your uh, online circuits and you can test the primary copper cables and secondary cables going underground so this is the best device to test all these kind of cables so I'm gonna show you what are the readings and what type of tests we can do with this device so let's go into the details for each test and uh, what are the measurement ranges for it these are different type of Argus available in Okay. this is uh, Argus 165 you can get it from the uh, website also for Argus you can see what uh, types of tests it can do it can perform various type of uh, tests IPTV, VOIP, MOS, PSQ and you can see this one is Argus 162 but the latest one is the Argus 165 which can do almost everything in the telecom sector this one is Argus 155 usually used by fixed line technicians and this is Argus 152 and 42 this is widely used in the fixed lines but for special circuits and all other least line circuits we use uh, Argus 165 and for testing our cables we need our copper box which is a separate device which I have shown you we will gonna which mostly the you know the red and black these are the tip and ring and the green one is the ground that is mentioned in Argus with G ground
so we begin with the the first test usually I use it for that is the voltage U when you open the copper box you will see a test uh, for U it's mentioned with U that is for voltage voltage that is AC volt and DC volt for telecom purpose it should be less than 2 volt with respect to grounds and even in the for the if you are testing the primary it should be zero normally but even if it is two less than two volt it will not gonna disturb your cable your service second thing is the LCL which is longitudinal conversion loss This LCL measurement, it is actually a asymmetry attenuation looks at the balance between the tip wire with respect to ground compared to the ring wire with respect to ground. In this measurement, a tone is fed symmetrically to the wires. If you are using uh, these three cables when you are connected with the uh, in the cabinet for testing your primary or the secondary cables while you are using this LCL measurement 1 megahertz of tone is sent symmetrically to these two wires with respect to ground one by one first with these two and then secondly with these two if a difference can be measured between the two wires an asymmetric is present if the readings have any difference between them then there is as asymmetry in these cables that means there is an issue so the readings should be for LCL it should be above 38 dB it is measured in dB and it the maximum is 65 which is good if it is less than 38 it's bad you have to refer it to cable repair to fix the lines and it will be good after that The second thing is uh, what we use is uh, resistance symmetry. In resistance symmetry, you can check the loop also, you can get the resistance uh, ohms. And it will give you a distance also for the cables if you connect both these cables all these cables to the primary and ground with secondary or if you are testing the primary or the secondary cables it will give you if there is any short or loop in the other end it will give you the resistance ohms if there is no loop it will tell you there is no loop in the cable so you don't need to go to the other end to see if there is loop or not 
with the with the resistance symmetry it will also tell you the length of the cable which is a good option in this one so you can measure whatever whatever the speed you want to provide to the customer you can make sure wh what is the length of the cable okay here we go again with the capacitive symmetry when you open your copper box in Argus it will give you the readings for the first one will be CM that is a mutual capacitance mutual capacitance between the tip and ring for example if it is 14 nanofarad then there will be a CAB which is TR that is that should be 7 nanofarads means 7 plus 7 for each of these cables it will be 14 as a mutual capacitance the third one will be CA E that is D G N D which is tip with respect to ground and the other one will be the ring grip with respect to ground that is C B E R G and D. For example, if it is 10 and if it is 32, it's an example, there will be a relativity. Relativity that is delta, it will be in the percentage. If it is 74%, it means it is grounded. The cables are grounded and you cannot use this cables it's better to take a new pair which should be which should be less than one percentage this one percent it means this these two readings should be same if there is any difference between these two nanofarad readings for tip with respect to ground and ring with respect to ground it means there is something wrong in the cables with respect to ground so it could be underwater or anything grounded shorted it will give you these readings so if it is one percent or less than one percent for the relativity it means it is good if it is exceeding one percentage it means there is ground it could be a little bit ground or it could be higher highly ground which which you can measure it monitor it with these readings and at the end of this one they, it will also show you the length of the cable after the relativity it will show you the length also for this cable whatever the cables that is a uh, for example if it if the nanofarad is 36 nanofarad for the mutual it means 36 is equal 36 nanofarad is equal to one kilometer if it is two kilometer it will be 70 nanofarad so whatever the reading you have it will give you the length of the cable it is an approximate length not exactly the same but a little bit difference you can see but it uh, almost same as one kilometer or 900 meters there will be a difference of 100 meters could be there so this is the most important one the capacitive symmetry and we have another one for the isolation Okay, now we will go ahead for the isolation. Isolation resistance measurement.
isolation resistance measurement why we use this measurement is actually isolation resistance measurement can indicate the damage to cable isolation or a moisture penetration or oxidized contact points on the line the copper cables uh, for example if you have uh, this customer N these are your two cables going underground if there is any moisture or anything in between or anything you have uh, or these endpoints are oxidized any damage to the insulation these type of faults it will give you a readings for this one so you can figure it out what is the issue in the cables if their cables are damaged or anything it will give you the readings so what are the reading measurements we're gonna discuss something about here and the first most important thing is this isolation can be run on 8 volt also and 105 I prefer 105 volt of testing which is uh, because of the distance and to get the correct parameters so you have to be careful when you are holding these cables because 105 volt is uh, very high for us so it will gonna give you a shock for that so be careful when you are using it so the readings uh, you will most probably get in while using this copper box it will be One thousand three hundred to one thousand mega ohms from three hundred to one thousand mega ohms. It is good, it is considered the good one. You need to look closely for five to three hundred mega ohms if the reading is in between five to three hundred mega ohms it could be good or it could be bad so you have to look closely if you are facing an issue it means there is an issue if you are getting these readings you have to check it thoroughly but in some cases it will work for you so you have to monitor the circuits or the lines which you are using if it is less than 5 mega ohms less than 5 mega ohms it means it is faulty so you have to refer it to the cable department if there is issue it means it is 5 mega ohms it means there is an issue with the cable fault it could be a damage or oxidized and moisture have penetrated in the cables so anything could be there so these measurement ranges actually will be with respect to tip and ring and tip and ground and ring with, with the respect to ground so if the tip and ring is your rate getting the reading for 1000 mega ohms and for tip and ground you are getting 600 mega ohms and for ring and ground it is 64 or anything less than not same as of the tip and ground this should be same if they are having different readings then it means there is an issue so you have to get the readings both should be same if it is 600 it should also be 500 at least or 564 anything in between nearby to each other that could be the good reading so you have to concentrate on the readings as well for the ranges and for the readings between the tip and ground and ring and ground 